everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with a design team project for Scrapping for Less today. The stamp set that we're going to use is by Newton's Nook, and it is called Raccoon Rascals, and I think this is just adorable. Between the trash can and the one hanging over the branch. Crack me up. So, the one hanging on the branch, of course, is the one that I chose because it just looked too funny. So I grabbed a piece of Desert Storm from my card base, and I grabbed a piece of my toned gray mixed media that's 184 pounds. Um, I do, I'm going to use my Prismacolor pencils today for my coloring. So I used a frame die from my stash to cut the toned gray. Now, what I want to do is I want to cut, uh, stamp, sorry, stamp my image um, using fog from Simon Says. So it's going to dry way back. So we're going to do like a no line coloring type thing um, going on here because fog will absolutely disappear. Um, it's that pale. So I want to stamp it a bunch of times just to make sure that I have a good um, impression at the time so that by the time I'm done coloring, the lines can go away if they want. It will disappear quickly. I'm then grabbing the sentiment, may your day be filled with surprises, and I'm going to use my Versifying Black for that underneath. So I'm trying to move quickly so that I can get this image colored. Now, it's not instantaneous that it, it dries back, but if you're working on a project that's going to take you an hour or two, you may have to restamp it in the middle of while you're coloring because um, probably it's going to fade back by the time you get to the other side. So we zoomed in. I speed this up or sped, however you want to say that, up a little bit. You can see I am using my Prismacolors. Um, I do have the full set of the Prismacolors. Um, and for some reason, I have to admit, if you saw the um, the case, that's the word I was looking for. Um, I get those. I got that one from Amazon, but it doesn't hold all of the Prismacolors. Um, so I had to get another set, another smaller uh, case for it. I kind of regret it. I'll be very honest with you. I mean, it's great if you're traveling. They're very well protected. Um, if you should drop the case, there's a lot of padding so that they won't break. Um, but I would have rather had them in my contain in the original container. All of my other ones are sitting that way. Um, so I don't repackage them, but I will use that container for when I do travel, if that makes sense. So you can see we've got the branch colored. I just use simple browns for that. And for my little raccoon, I am going to, or raccoon, however you want. I say raccoon, raccoon. Okay. I'm sure somebody will laugh. Make you giggle. Um, I'm going to be using my warm grays. And I'm using the 30, 50, 70, and 90 um, to color this little guy in. So, of course... For the mask, I'm making that a little bit darker. And for his body, we're going to go on the lighter side of the warm grays. I did not want to go with a cool gray. Um, I just didn't think it would look right. Usually when it comes to when I color animals, I do tend to go with the warmer side colors for animals, um, whether it's a fox uh, a raccoon, a bear, um, reindeer. Only animal that I'll go on the cool side um, is maybe, you know, like your polar bears because I'll use shades of blue, soft blues for the shadows. So again, it for the most part, I do use warm colors. So you can see I'm coloring in the um, body of my raccoon here. I went with the 30% and now I'm coming in with the 50% and I'm making sure even though this is going to be a no line coloring, you still want to have, or 
again, my opinion, you still want to have some definition. You still want to see the differences between the arm and the belly or the bottom of the tail to his, to his bum. Um, you just want to make sure that you do have those areas identified. So you still will be doing some outlining um, over those stamped areas. You're not going to use a black. You would just use a darker shade or a little bit more pressure on the color that you are using. If you notice, I'm really, I'm only using two colors when it comes to the two different areas that I'm coloring. Even for the tail, the tail, I'm just using one color. I'm using the 90% for the darker stripes and I'm using the 70% or no, is it the 50%? I'll have to look at it. Um, either the 70 or the 50%, just that one. I'm not using both. It's all in the pressure that'll give me the different values, and I am using the 70%. Um, just making it darker on each of the sides and making sure I'm blending it as I get to the center. So if you're just starting out in colored pencils, yeah, I suggest start out with Crayola, they are the best. They are wonderful, very inexpensive. Get used to them. Um, and then even when you go into, if you're looking for the polychromos or you're looking for the um, Prisma colors, or, I mean, the list could go on. Blick has them. I have them all. Spectrum Noir has them. Um, you can get a smaller set. You know, start out with the 12 or the 24 um, or maybe even the 36, because you can get a lot of colors from them. Okay, so just keep that in mind. And But if you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll get back to you. So on the inside of the car, I'm going to set that aside, because I did use my black glazed gel pen for the eyes and the nose, just to make sure that stands out. And of course, I put a little bit of pink in the ears. I was too busy rambling. So sorry, we're back to the card now. So on the inside of the uh, panel, the A2 size standard card base, which is four and a quarter by five and a half top folding, I'm going to use the, the tree trunk where they're all three um, stacked on each other. And I'm going to stamp that on the inside off to the side. Because then on the inside, I want to stamp happy birthday and say from all of us. So you have the three little guys. That would be the surprise. Yeah. So, oh, I thought it was cute. So for the tree trunk with the little other raccoons hanging out there, I used Craft, my Gina K ink, and then I used my VersaFine for the happy birthday from all of us. I'm going to prop this panel up on the front, of course, using my double-sided foam tape. And then once that's positioned, I am going to grab uh, two of my Nouveau drops. I'm going to grab my Dark Walnut and my Ebony Black. And just accenting around the sentiment. Okay, the guy hanging, him hanging over that branch is just precious. Just say. Um, so I'm going to start out with the brown. And then I'm going to add the black. Just as accents. So that is our card. It's very simple, um, very easy to do. I decided to bring those Nouveau drops down um, instead of just on that corner. Don't ask why. There, there was a reason, but I thought it just looked cool with that going through. Okay, and that was our card for today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you like and subscribe. You don't want to miss any more videos that are coming out and the great designs that you will see. If you have any questions, please leave those down below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Also, the product, the stamp set that I used in today's design team project will also be listed down below along with their link to their blog, their online shop for other items that you may find that you need or if you're just bored and want to shop, there's the place to do it. I hope everyone's having a great day, but always remember what's most important, everyone. Always be creative.